What's going on, Pisces? My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Pisces, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest or if you have a specific person in mind, you go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned until the end of your reading while well, use oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from the universe. All right, so let's dive right and see what we got going on. The universe is telling you that you are in control and it's time that you are aware of this. For example, when you are, if someone wants to come into your home, who gives them permission? You do. If a stranger knocks on your door and they seem like a threat, they're stinky, they are dirty, they are, you know, aggressive. Are you going to let them in your house? Heck no. Now, this is because you are in control, free will. You need to be aware, if you wouldn't let a stranger into your home that you don't trust, why would you possibly let them in your mind, right? You are in control of your thoughts. This is the same thing. Just because someone knocks on your door doesn't mean you let them in. Just because a thought wants to enter your, into your energy doesn't mean you allow them. This is the first step. The universe wants you to know, if you're telling yourself, why am I not rich yet? Why am I not with my soulmate yet? What the heck? This is the problem. You have to fully be aware that you are in control and you need to start owning this. This is so so powerful. So what does this mean? I'm gonna show you how to get what you're looking for at a snap of a finger. You wanna be able to print money out of thin air, guys, our Amazon businesses, that's what we're doing. You wanna meet your soulmate, you wanna have six pack abs, it's super easy. I'm not trying to sell you a course, it's easy. All you have to do is make sure when you wake up, you don't look at your phone immediately, which puts you in a lower frequency, and instead, you have to set a baseline energy for that day. This is the trick. Baseline energy for that day. This is so important, right? I cannot express this enough. What does this mean? You need to wake up in the morning and rather than jump into your emails, immediately after you shower, drink your matcha, your tea, immediately look at something Think of something, I like to go on YouTube and check out something that I am passionate about. Like for example, I like gardening. So I go on to YouTube and for 10, 15 minutes in the morning, I look at you know gardening stuff and that makes me feel good. And when I'm in that joyful, blissful state, now I feel my independence. And I tell myself, I wish I could do this for the rest of the day. Bingo. When you find an energy, you're like, I wish I could do for the rest of the day. That is happiness. That right there is my baseline for the rest of the day. So if anyone, anything comes and tries to take this away from me, they are a threat to me at that point. So for example, I'm up here. Someone comes up to me, family member, right? I'm trying to think of any sticky situation. And they're like, did you hear about gossip, jealousy, comparison, anything, blah, 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 right? I tell them, listen, how's your day? I love you. I just want to let you know that I'm up here. You can get up here too. When you're up here, everything is great. We can have a ball. But if you choose to be down here, I cannot associate with you. So if you want to be friends, get up here. Simple as pie. Now, this applies to anything. So for example, if you are having thoughts, feelings, anything, if it's down here, you are going to know it's down there because now you know what happiness is. This is your baseline for the day. You want to be able to get what you're looking for. Guys, this is it. It's so easy. It's so easy when you know what to do and I just gave you the game right there. So first importantly, what is yours? Like for example, my dad likes soccer. So I told him, okay, in the morning, find out who's your favorite team, Manchester United, great. Did they just play? Or is it a home game? Is it a away game? What's the standings? What's the weather conditions like when they play? Get into that niche. What is yours, right? If you're like, I don't know. You know what I don't know means? It means I don't want to be successful. Think of a time when you were younger. Did you like animals? Did you like painting, drawing? Did you like outdoors? Did you want to be a star? Whatever that is, 10, 15 minutes in the morning, do that. Get your baseline for the day. And now anything that takes you away from that, understand that it is a threat. So for example, if you're all bubblicious and happy, and then you're like, okay, time to eat. And you start eating food and it's junk food. And you're like, oh, my frequency is getting lowered. Stop eating that, okay? Or if you're up here and you're like, all right, well, I feel really good. Uh, I guess I'll go on YouTube and look at stuff. And you're scrolling through YouTube and TikTok. And all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, what is this stimulation of bombarding with nastiness? Immediately you're like, oh, my frequency's lowered. Remember, you are at the door allowing thoughts in. Be like, all right, I'm gonna stop this. 
But if you don't have that baseline up top, you are going to wake up, check your phone, check your email. Guess what that's about? That's about scarcity right there. And now your baseline is down here. And now anything that's down here is normal. Do you see what I'm telling you right now? Source is telling you spirit has a plan for you. Your angels and guides have your back. But you got to understand your vibrations speak louder than your words. Align with positivity, attract prosperity. What do you want? No one's going to do this for you, right? I'm the only one that's going to tell you the real ish. Everyone else is like, in two weeks, you're going to meet Romeo. No, you're not. In two weeks, if you're going to be doing the same thing as yesterday, you get the same results. Tomorrow, you could meet Romeo if you do this. This is how you get it. Now, you're getting advice from someone who's done it. You're getting advice, someone who <laughs> makes mad money, printing money out of thin air, with his soulmate, travel the world, and you know, I am physically very comfortable in my skin. So you want this too? Take advice from that person. Again, I'm not trying to sell you nothing. What I'm trying to tell you is give you some game so you're not wasting your time because that right there, you know, you got to pass on your gifts. Now, source is also telling you that if you want financial stability in your life, your life is a reflection of your thoughts. So abundance flows to the grateful heart. If you want to make money, abundance flows to the grateful heart. How can you be grateful? You can be grateful by focusing on the things that make you happy. For example, the morning routine. This right here will change your life. If you do this and you take some time for yourself, take time out. This means nighttime, guess what? Stop binge eating watching Netflix. No one cares about that. Go to sleep 30 minutes earlier, wake up 30 minutes earlier. That is how you do it, guys. Nighttime energy, what do you do at night? Are you conquering the world? Heck no, you're taking steps backwards. How do I know? Because I used to be worse than everybody. So what do you do? Stop doing the nighttime stuff. What do you do? Start doing the morning stuff. So simple, right? Universe is telling you right now that life is telling you trust the great mystery. So the universe has a big plan for you. But the only way you can be a part of this plan is if you're a part of this plan, right? So the universe is telling you right now that true silence over unnecessary words. Kindness is never wasted. Practice self-discipline, not regret. The past is a lesson. Do you see where I'm going with this? Infinite knowledge, but what is this knowledge worth? All this stuff that I just said, you know where this came from? A stream of consciousness, a centralized intelligence, whether it was Buddha, Gandhi, or Joe Smith. Everyone has this information. Einstein, Tesla, Da Vinci, they all said it. They tapped into the quantum field. It's all there, but it's only there for you when you put down the phone and then you, or you pick up the phone, but you're doing something better. Guys, you heard a sound healing? Do you have any idea the sounds that you hear on commercials, what they do to you? Do you have any idea when you're looking at TikTok being blasted with sound? Do you know what you're physically that's doing to you? Whoa, I apologize for that. Do you know what? I want you to be aware of this. It's releasing cortisol and adrenaline in your body. That's a very dangerous chemical cocktail. You don't have the luxury of doing this. It taxes and ages you. You hear that sound right there that was there? That was the universe telling you right now that you got to stop, right? You got to stop. Now, let's dive right into your affirmation for today. Right now, affirmations, anything you say is true, it is true. The universe does not care if something is real or not. Hence, placebo effect, the scientific proof of happiness. When you think of something, when you say it, when you write it down in the comment section, write this down, you are basically saying this is law. I'm breathing life into this. This is so. This is how it works, guys. Write the following affirmation in the comment section and you're basically telling the universe this is real. So write this down. When I follow my heart, I am abundant, successful, and free. Look at this. You're claiming your power. Write this down in the comment section. When I follow my heart, I am abundant, successful, and free. Write this down right now. When I follow my heart, I am abundant, successful, and free. You're telling the universe, you trust yourself. You follow your heart. What is your heart? It's your instincts, guys. It's how the universe speaks to you. The universe does not pick up the phone and call you. The universe gave you instincts. It gave you instincts so you could survive. Right now, you're letting the universe know you are aware. When I follow my heart, I am abundant, successful, and free. What else are you looking for? Abundant, successful, and free. Oh my goodness. The universe is dropping game and loving you, but you got to let the universe know you're ready. Write that down in the comment section. All right, now let's pull a final message from the universe and make sure you're tapped in. Right now, the final message is honor thyself, honoring your soul, guys. This right here. Message is, just curious, when was the last time you looked in the mirror and addressed yourself as gorgeous, magnificent, or sublime? Honestly, though, it matters. 
Here's looking at you, gorgeous, the universe, PS, hubba bubba counts. All right, so what's going on here? The universe is telling you, love yourself. Choose your words wisely. Be gentle with yourself. Be kind with yourself. Give yourself compliments, right? Celebrate the small victories. Slow it down, smell the roses. Guys, these things are real. You can't, you can't just look in the mirror and be like, ah. You gotta look in the mirror and be like, listen, you are incredible. You are learning as you go. And guess what? When you do this morning routine, you are really going to love yourself. So right now, source is telling you, tap right in and expect abundance. All right, Pisces, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe, and tr I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.